Hi, my super sweet crafty friends. Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Handmade. Today I want to share with you this super beautiful and easy and inexpensive to make a uh, journal. And this will be something that would be perfect to make also for Valentine's Day to gift away. So I'm going to share with you what I use here. And this is actually a project, a design team project for Farabella Online Scrapbook Store. And I'm going to link to it over here and down on the description below. And I'm also going to link to all the materials that I use for this project. They actually sent me a Boulevard collection from Bow Bunny for me to uh, design my projects. And I have to tell you, I just love this collection, love the colors, love all the flowers. And uh, it was so easy to make this uh, composition notebook journal. And it's something that you can make in minutes and you can gift away and look at how gorgeous it looks. This will be something that anyone would love to receive. So I use some chipboard stickers from the Boulevard collection from Bow Bunny again. And this one says, one simple act of kindness can change the course of a lifetime. And I think this was so beautiful. I also use gold poster board to decorate. I use a die from Spellbinders to decorate my background on my cover because I wanted to give it some accent. I cut inside of my piece a little rectangle here so I could create a frame instead because I wanted the paper to come out everywhere. I think this paper is just gorgeous and I really didn't want to cover it uh, much. So I also use some ribbon that I have on my stash and I think this ribbon goes perfect with this paper line and with the uh, decoration of my composition notebook. This would be a perfect journal to start your new year so this would be great for it it's super simple it doesn't have dividers or anything inside like tabs but I'm going to share with you what I did instead so I decorate this pine with glitter as you know if you've seen my videos I love using glitter for my um, spines on my composition notebooks on my altar composition notebooks because it actually it's gorgeous <laughs> but it also prevents the spine from wrinkling you know when you use paper or a stiffer material once you open your notebook you tend to wrinkle over here and I just don't like that I like uh, as perfect a finish as I can get and this gives me the perfect one because it just kind of like uh, binds to the binding, <laughs> no pun intended, and it just uh, becomes a part of it, so it doesn't wrinkle as paper would. And you can see the back of it is super, super beautiful. I added more glitter on this area because I was not going to decorate the back. I just wanted to add the ribbon, but I wanted to add a wider area of glitter to give it more accent and I think it looks gorgeous. So you can see there is the frame. The chipboard sticker is beautiful and it has a foiling in it, sort of like a rose gold foil but it goes really nice with this gold uh, poster board and with the ribbon also. And look at how beautiful this paper is. I so love those flowers and the colors. I think this is so regal, so beautiful. This will be a beautiful journal to gift away. And if you have galentines, <laughs> something like this would be perfect to uh, gift away to your golf friends for Valentine's. So I added the uh, ribbon here from my stash and I added it uh, as a way to make it closure, but also to decorate it because I think it's just gorgeous. So this is how it opens. You just untie your bow and as I said I kept this one simple I didn't want to create tabs for it I just left it as a uh, more traditional journal you know you just have the blank pages or uh, line in this case but you just have pages that you just fill out with your journaling and that's what I wanted to do here I also made policy envelopes for the sides of my composition notebooks as a way to give storage. You can store here little mementos, stickers, calendars, uh, notes, things of the sort. And I made this policy envelope really easy. I'm going to share with you, I use this little, um, these are like sacks for treats. 
I got this on Tuesday morning and what I did is I just cored in here so I could fold this and then I added this pieces here to create my policy envelope and a little string. So it's super easy to do, super simple. So if you have sacks lying around, you can make uh, policy envelopes super, super easy. And if you want to see how I make them, just let me know down in the description below and I'll make a quick video for you. It's, uh, like I said, super, super easy. And you can see how I made my little closures there for my policy envelope. You can see in there. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous book. So I didn't want to use brads for this because uh, I wanted to keep it as um, flat as I could, even though I'm using this piece here. So I didn't want to add the brads. So what I did is I added just the poster board. I made my little closures with just poster board. And I used a very thin gold cord here. So you can open it. And then you have your bucket here that you can use to store your stickers you can use uh you can store several different things it won't open a lot uh but it's mostly to keep flat items like uh stickers and things of the sort because i didn't want to give it too much bulk in it. so this is super easy to make again as i said and it would give your journal a beautiful touch and also it would make it even um, and better to use because you have storage for it and then I created these tags using some of the paper and this is the same paper that I use for the cover and as you can see here I cover the inside using a different paper from the same collection this one has some red and orange on it and uh, this is all like yellows creams and um, blues and I also use my metal corners here to decorate my notebook. I just think it gives this the perfect finish. It makes it look so, so much put together. And it's just also going to help protect your notebook uh, from damaging. And I also use washi tape from that collection. I really like this collection. This is some of the washi tape that came with it. I just love it. And this is one of my favorites too. Look at this. I love this because it has like threads, little threads on them. This would be perfect to decorate your journal, to make little areas to separate your uh, journaling and things like that. And um, I use gold poster board also because I like making things sturdier so they will last longer. And I also use a stamp set from the collection and I stamped here card postal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, I just love this. And then I made also, let me show you, another pocket for the back. It's kind of like mirrors the same at the front pocket but I wanted to give it storage so you can place things here that are going to be useful for you and then there's another thing here that I'm going to show you in just a second I made another tag in here and I uh, stamp also um, using the stamp from the Bow Bunny Boulevard collection and it says also uh, card postal and I just love this and I made this really big because I wanted to use this actually as bookmarks and I want them big enough so um, I could have tags here that we show on the top and make my planner, my journal look even prettier. So I made two of them. On the back here you can actually journal too and you can use a line stamp or something like that or just create lines with your ruler and then you can journal in here too so i think this is great for that and over here you can also add pictures if you wanted you can add a picture here or you can add like a little sticky note not thick something like a few pages of sticky notes that you can place in here and then write on them too and this work perfect as bookmarks for your journal so as you see you can use one of them i like that if you just need one of them, then I'll show you here. These policy envelopes are also a pocket on the back. So you can store in there your bookmark. 
and this is great also because it gives you a little more storage and this you can use to divide or separate areas that you want to mark on your journal I want to keep I wanted to keep this one simple I didn't want to do a lot of tabs and things for it I just wanted to create this more of like a traditional traditional journal that you used to just write your thoughts and things like that I honestly think it turned out just so gorgeous and this would be something that anyone would love to receive as a present and again this is a design team project for photo bella so i'm going to link to the materials i use down below it's a gorgeous collection if you want me to make a video to show you how i make my policy envelopes i'm going to share with you also that collection so you can see how gorgeous it is and i'm going to link to it down below and to the photo bella uh, online store so uh, make sure you check it out and also I'm going to link to the Photobella blog and I want to ask you guys if you could please 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 check out that link and go check out my blog post over there on that uh, on the Photobella blog and leave a comment over there for me I really really would love to hear from you there too and you can see it's so simple to create something gorgeous that you can gift away and so inexpensive this doesn't take much you can use a composition notebook and they run from uh, like a dollar a dollar tree or the stores and if you're like me i recommend that you actually stock up when it's back to school time and they actually have a lot of sales on them so usually i get them for like 50 cents or so so it's a lot a lot less expensive and these are not expensive at all and this make great details for your project they make them look a lot more expensive looking a lot more professional looking finished looking and beautiful so thank you so so much for all your beautiful comments and i am so sorry i haven't been able to answer a lot of them uh, as you can hear from my voice, I got a little sick on our, our flight back from vacation. If you haven't seen my post on my community tab, we went to Leavenworth, Washington, and uh, we went kind of like skiing also at um, Stevens Pass in Wenatchee Forest area. This is, uh, it was just gorgeous, beautiful. It was really cold and I thought I was going to get sick from it. I didn't, but I actually got sick on the plane back. Uh, flying back, there were a lot of people sick and there's no way to hide. Or, and people unfortunately don't wear masks, so um, I got sick. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys like my project. Again, thank you so much. Welcome to my new subscribers. And thank you so, so much to all of you, my super sweet crafty friends, for your love and support. I hope you're having a super amazing uh, start of 2020 i hope your week is beautiful and you have an awesome weekend thank you for watching and i hope to see you back here soon for another video bye bye love you guys Mwah.